Yes, Mbwa. Thank you so much, Right Honorable Speaker. You can. From Honorable Lumumba on, uh, on what is happening. Some of us are even ashamed of mentioning the names on that one that is happening outside there. This afternoon we had a meeting with the team from executive. Of course the team and the meeting was not meant to persuade us to get out of our position. We, we are still in our position as legislature. We are still there. But what is to be done is the role of executive. For us, we've given our position as the legislature that we are not in for whatever is happening, that one there. It is not better if Parliament pronounces against such an event and the Cabinet, it goes ahead to look to be supporting because there are information in the media saying executive has already endorsed this. And moreover, this event really brings moral decay to our country. Madam Speaker, therefore, if executive sees this better, let ministers first clear their girls and boys, their children to go to Nyege Nyege before they send children of other people. Therefore, as parliament, Madam Speaker, we should be strict on this matter, put our foot down and say no to Nyege Nyege because it is a culture that is bringing decay in our country. We did agree that there is a need for strong regulation, regulation being a function of the executive and uh, we continue to consult and we agreed the executive will handle this matter. So we beg that you give us time we are handling to achieve because government looks determined to have this Nyege Nyege festival. We, the executive, we cannot fight with the executive. In the spirit of harmony, let's allow government to do its part for us who have made our stand. And right honorable speaker, the motion that I want to move is that moving forward, because the excuse being given is that it is just a week too. The other year when Father Lokodo was fighting, it is one day too. So can we ban Nyege Nyege from uh, taking place in this country, right honorable speaker? This is the motion that I want to move. We have other means of promoting tourism as a country, right honorable speaker. What we need to first find out, is it within our mandate as a legislature to ban it? Or can we legislate? Maybe. Can we legislate to put stringent measures that can make us to have a better, not nyege nyege this time, <laughs> have something better than nyege nyege? What is the government position on festivals of that nature? And if we agree on that government position, what is the position of the Minister of Ethics and Integrity? on matters of that nature. And can they be tabled here so that we get to know them? But generally our position is that Ugandans should be able to freely enjoy their country, but within the law. Now, but of course the government has a cardinal function of regulating how Ugandans enjoy these rights and freedoms. So once parliament has made the position, it is you now as the executive to see how you put in place measures to put it into effect. But when the outside world is seeing us and seeing parliament taking a position and somehow it is being debated and the executive, you seem to be on your own, you seem to be above the position of parliament and that is very dangerous, honorable ministers. You can do everything you can in your offices Please don't run down this institution called Parliament. One thing that I want to remind this house, that nobody will ever run this house so long as I'm a speaker. Nobody. If you think you're going to overrun Parliament of Uganda, you will not do it. I am elected by 415 members of Parliament. Number two. 
the decision of this parliament on Nyege Nyege stands. Number three, the executive should do its part. Let the executive do whatever they want to do. For us, we made a pronouncement.